everyone, welcome to a very interesting episode of the O2 Garage. We are in the heart of the Adelaide CBD, as you can see right behind me, and we are doing something completely different this time around. We're not necessarily playing with cars, what we're actually doing is talking about them. Well, the servicing of them, because you see, in addition to what I do, I also do a little thing called a podcast with mechanic.com.au. I've been doing it for a while now, and I thought on this episode I'll take you in the wild world of podcasts and have a quick look at an Aston Martin. Ooh, very nice. We do it in the middle of the city in a place called Podbooth with Rory. Ryan works for mechanic.com.au and we're gonna be interviewing some people from uh, Repco today about servicing and uh, how to run a successful workshop and all those cool bits and pieces. So, hope you enjoy the ride. It's gonna be a little bit of an interesting episode, this one. So to let me tell you a little bit about mechanic.com.au because it's uh, run by a guy called Ryan, really cool guy. And what he does is he helps out businesses who run service departments, service centres and so forth, not only in dealerships but also small private entities as well. Uh, he works with uh, industry people like Repco and people like that, uh, setting up uh, systems, apps, functions and programs designed to help modern day workshops run more efficiently, uh, recruit the right people, keep the right trainees. And the podcast has uh, been a really good opportunity for me to reconnect with my mechanic roots that I used to have before I became the modern man that I am today. Um, today you're going to get a chance to see inside Podbooth. It's fantastic in there. Rory's a really cool guy. We'll have a chat to Ryan as well. We might even have a chat to Rory. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the ride. It is a lot of fun. I do enjoy doing it. Um, yeah, I do. I really do enjoy doing it. Let's get over. All right, so we're inside Pod Booth now. We'll have a chat to Rory in a minute. We've got Ryan sitting here. He's from mechanic.com.au and from Evolve TV, which is what we're doing today with the podcast. And I've given the people who are watching the O2 Garage now, and there's thousands and thousands of people who have subscribed wow. to other channels apart from mine. All right, so you're not talking to too many people. So. That's right, that's right, I love it. <laughs> um, Evolve TV, mechanic.com.au, just a quick tell me a little bit so these guys know. Yeah, so we're yeah. Australia's largest network of mechanics. Yeah. So the, the point of the website is to help mechanics come together to share information and fix cars. Because yeah. as, even as mechanics, whether you're DIY or mechanic, you have sometimes you get stuck on a car and you need some help. So it's great to be able to talk and connect with other mechanics yeah. to solve problems. Yeah, well, and I've been coming in doing podcasts for you for two years. A couple of years now, yeah. Two years now, yeah. yeah. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> I'll cut that bit out. I'll cut that, edit that bit out and stuff. But um, it is a kind of a pod, podcasting is an interesting medium for reaching people, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It definitely. I think particularly for those that are really highly engaged at the top of their field, they love those high quality podcasts compared mm. to a lot of the other generic type of mm. interviews and things. So. Well, you know, in the, in the automotive industry is wide and varied. And on on my show, I you know fix up old Dodge trucks and I save bits and pieces and I do this and I do that and then to come and sit here and do a podcast. I think if you're a true enthusiast, it, it, there's so many different branches to the tree you can climb out on, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it's quite a wide and varied um, pursuit, I guess. Yeah. Have you been working on any cars and projects? Not for many years. My first car was actually, uh, your viewers will probably laugh at this, was an XF Falcon. Um, no, I so know where there's one in corn, actually. A red yeah. one. What colour was yours? It was gold. It is gold. I've still got it. Oh, I've you've still, still got, got it. it? It's turbocharged, it's fuel injected. It was my passion project that I learned the trade on, and I've still got it today. So, But um, family life now doesn't afford me. Uh, so I'm now here with the owner of Podbooth, the master of Podbooth, the domain of podcasting, Rory. Um, tell us about podcasting and what it is and what you've got here. Oh, when I when I, I actually came from a live TV background, so yeah. I, what I wanted to do was set up a, a studio that people could create uh, podcasts because I decided I'm going to get out of TV. I'm going to get into podcasts because this is a world that I really enjoy. I think it's great and it's blowing out. Um, but because of the TV background, I couldn't help myself. I put lights in all over the place and cameras in this all over place the place. This place is rad. It's really cool. It's a, it's a very calm, lit place, and it's, it's easy for an easy discussion, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. That's what we designed it to be like. So anyone could come in. Not going out for dinner and don't have to worry about in. mics. <laughs> you got everything's just here. I know ready to your go. equipment is like it's my little GoPro sitting over there, and I'm looking at what's here, and it's like it all works fantastic. It's all designed like to look well. Most podcasts. 
sound good and you can't tell yeah. if it's shot where it's shot where it's recorded you know you can't tell but podcasts are now gone from being just verbal to being visual verbal aren't well, yeah and if most and, and most people at home when they're DIYing it can have a good sound but they don't have a good picture right. their videos look terrible because they don't have they, they don't have any really video know-how and you're based in Adelaide uh, in the heart of Adelaide you did move to this place here now and it's a phenomenal setup and is it is it sound orientated in here uh, it wasn't when we moved in but we built extra walls in this wall here there's actually another wall behind it that's further back right. so we double insulated the walls and then double drip rocked the walls so no one can hear you screaming here not in here this is your den this is it <laughs> and these are all acoustic panels they they're so they absorb the echo from the room so now it sounds like a radio station uh, just let me do a quick pan around have a look at this there's a really cool uh, clock over there and um, we've got his all, a bank of speakers over here and like like this stuff everywhere just this really awesome cool stuff and and you and I came together um, through a podcast called the Hoonatics. The Hoonatics, one of my um, one of the OGs in yeah, video podcast yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, oh, and that was a cool series that went went for a couple of series, couple of seasons, um, and I kind of stuck around like a bad smell, haven't I? Yeah, well, it was yeah. it was a trailblazer. Money, most people weren't doing video podcasts at that stage. Yeah, but you guys kicked it off. Yeah, so yeah, you know, well, yeah. and then we only grew from there. I think we well, started out with middle-aged like, man like I am of Adelaide. You know, I'm nearly at my nearly at my prime. I'm past my prime. Um, this is a cool place. Uh, look up podcasts if you if you've got a subject matter and you you want to get out there and spread your message. Podcasts are always a good way to go. And guys like Rory, if you're in Adelaide, just look him up. Look at the Podbooth website and have a chat to him. Podbooth.com.au. Dot au. Uh, have a chat to him. Go from there. All right, guys, so now's a chance for you to have a bit of a look and watch how the podcast goes, and I've got Zach behind me from Repco as well, so he's going to be my victim, not my victim, my interviewee. That's right. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for joining us for Evolve TV, where we uncover the secrets of how aftermarket workshops can improve, optimise, systemize their businesses. I'm your host, Jason O, and in this episode, we discover to how to... Oh. Ooh, I knew we should have This is where the customers are going to really break away from the pack. If you're engaging with that customer, you're keeping them connected to what you're doing on that car, they're going to be able to, one, sign off those jobs that you're recommending a lot easier with a lot less fuss, and two, trust you in future when you yeah. recommend other work because they've seen you prove it to them before as well. As a business owner, as a workshop manager, we need to set aside some time to think about where are the where are the easy wins, the quick wins, and where are the longer term things that we can implement to run a more efficient business. Because that's going to help every other pillar, every other discipline it's going to within the business. Effect. Absolutely. So so we need to set time aside for that. Look, that's a lot for the business workshop owners to take on board, and and a lot of them are going to want to evolve. There's no doubt about that. But what's the best solution moving forward? Look, there's a number of solutions in the marketplace at the moment, whether it be about websites, booking solutions, um, training and workshop development. But th what we've found is there's not really any. Well, there you go, guys. A little bit of an insight into what podcasting is all about. And Rory's over there playing around with some equipment and bits and pieces. We're going to do some more stuff in a minute. But that actually is the end of the episode. And it is also the end of the season. So season six of the O2 Garage is done and dusted. We are going to go into season seven now. We've got some really exciting, cool things lined up. Remember, we've got some work to do on the Phoenix. Still got to do some stuff on that. Uh, we're certainly going to keep on working on Ruby's truck. You know that that's going underway. Oh, we also have the Project Retro BMX. We haven't started that, and I promise you that's coming up very soon. We also have the shed extension. So I'll be doing a bit of work on that this weekend. So that'll be one of the very first episodes in the new season. Uh, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe, set your notification bell as well and leave me a comment because I love hearing your feedback and uh, taking you and seeing wild and wacky stuff like podcasting. Hope you've enjoyed the ride so far and look forward to seeing you again. Okay, so this just happened just now. Thank <laughs> you.
Totally cold. Totally cold. Battery on. 